What this one is, is our teacher, our science teacher, said, okay, you're going to be able to, you're going to make a presentation on the scientific method using the Google Drive. You can use any presentation, you can use anything you want there to make a presentation. So we chose Powtoon because we thought it was the most creative thing to use because there's a whole bunch of different stickers that you can add to make it your own. And it just has a whole bunch of different backgrounds that you can choose. It has a whole bunch of different things that you can use to like incorporate writing and stuff. And it's very colorful. Yeah. And then this one needs to be video. 19, I suppose, but she. And we had to make a little bit of college or commercial. This year she's on. So you like had. Was it FEMA? I guess she's working. And then you had to like. She's on the East Coast and they're going to like. We used a green screen. And then you had to go in front of it and say like what you did. And after you imported the pictures, like how you wanted them and where you wanted them. And you had a little team of. Everything like that. Team of 10. So after that, we downloaded it onto our Wii video and we got to pick our backgrounds that we got that kind of incorporated with the product that we're advertising. And we got to make the background so you can see that they, put, they picked this one where it's all around the world, this car is. And they, you can add sound and stuff to it, like different music, and um, you can actually download backgrounds to see what it was. Our other one right here, I don't know if it's worth it. I know this one. They, they added words to it that we can do, and you have different transitions that you can use with it. And then they moved, you can add pictures also with it. And then for their video, they, I know they took, because they were doing a car also, they took it in front of a house that they downloaded onto there and just started writing. See, they downloaded it on. They just they got to pick the background that they chose, and they just got to talk in front of it. So because it's a green screen that we got, and we had to video it, and we had to we had to figure it out by ourselves how to do it. You basically um this one really isn't placing blocks, but you're typing things, and then using that to um, control this. Let me show you. Then you can use this little iPhone here to control it. In school, we had to make a poetry book, so I thought it would be nice to share with everyone what I do with poems. So all I have to do is hit this, and I have a whole bunch of poems made. Um, most of them are out of place, like the DeMonte. It's out of place because the font would let it do better do that. So um, all I had to do was just make a presentation. So Mr. Larson thought it would be a good idea. Okay, so this year we did our whole senior paper online and we did our through Google Docs. So this is my actual folder. And these are all of the papers that I would have had to turn in, like handwritten, if we didn't have these these uh, computers in class. So what we did is we started off with getting articles. So on mine, I got the article and linked it. And then I copy and pasted the whole thing. That way I could always have it. And then I went through and like annotated it. And then like highlighted like the really big important parts. And I had like about 10 articles. Um, from there we got to start writing our claim. And, or our thesis, however you want to say it. And it was just like a worksheet that we got shared with by our teacher. And you had to fill all this out before you could actually start doing your project. So then, usually in English classes, you do an outline online anyways. But this is just like our outlines that we did. And then the best part of it was our, fine, or our rough drafts, where we had our paper written. And then you had a partner where they got to go through and edit things and comment on them on where like the good things are, where you can um, improve, different things like that. And then we had a key that was like, yellow highlight means such and such, bold means this is where I found a strong piece of information. So you could use that to really help you form your final draft. And then at the end, that's the very bottom of it, but we had our final draft, which all together like, was just really, really helpful being able to use it on a computer and having everything really at your fingertips from the beginning with your articles all the way to the end with your final draft. Another big thing that we end up using in class is called Student Modal. And with that, it's really awesome because we actually both have Mrs. Wheeler as our teacher for both English and speech. And a great example is that today we're missing both of those two classes, English and speech. 
so student modal, it just, it's really so easy to be able to log on and then go and look at any of the assignments that you might have missed. And really, right now we're working on the tragedy of Macbeth. So, for example, all of our assignments are right there. And then, um, oh, okay. So one of the assignments that we work on, for example, is vocabulary. And since using cell phones is such a big thing, especially for high school seniors, um, we do our vocab in our notebook. And it's as easy as going onto the internet on our phone and really taking a picture with our phone and being able to upload the assignment right there. Just so our teachers don't have those 50 assignments all out on their desks and those 30 assignments that they have to grade and get back. Or we don't have to sit there and worry about, oh, did I lose that? Did I forget to turn it in? And everything like that because it's already right there. And assignments in general, today for example, or any other day, this was a morality and power um, assignment. And so she would give us the prompt and what it is that we're supposed to do. And then we have the submission status and all of the grading rubrics and everything. And then towards the bottom of it, she can give us our feedback of how we did on the assignment and everything. And it just makes things so much easier because whether we work on Google Docs and do an assignment there, it's just it makes it so much easier to be able to submit it and it goes it can go through turn it in to make sure there's no plagiarism or anything. And it just makes everything a lot more organized. I think the my favorite part about being a, an educator is seeing all of the amazing people that are going out into the world and all of the ideas that they want to share with the people around them. I remember as a, a student when we would have computer days in the classroom and it was a place to go to. It was this grand event where you'd march down the hallway and you could color on uh, coloring pages on the computer and you could play games. It was it was this extra fun thing and now with technology in the classroom it actually helps us with our in-class activities where it's a tool that we use where everything that we're learning, we're just using technology to help us in the process. And it's quicker, it's efficient, more paperless. There's a learning curve with the technology, for sure. There's some students come from different backgrounds and you have some where they aren't fully comfortable with using a computer and you have others where it's like second nature to them and so you know you see a lot of the students helping each other and assisting each other with that and and learning new tools all together in the same environment when they grasp a concept that was initially foreign to them where maybe they saw initially that the technology was hindering them, like they weren't totally familiar in how to use Google Docs, and so they were kind of dragging their heels a little bit and starting the research paper process. But then as they become more comfortable with the tool, then it is exciting for them, and they see the rewards instantly. As far as social media goes, there is this always growing ever constant communication that's happening between students and students and teachers and so you have this constant communication back and forth that is fantastic because they have the ability to get the answers that they need without having to step foot in a classroom and still have it's it's building an extra level of a relationship that they did not have before.